Hey everybody, AZ here, and last time we beat the Blackthorn City Gem. Now off screen I actually went and caught a few Pokemon, we're going to go over that real quick. I also got them caught up a little bit. Well, I caught one new Pokemon. I caught Needle King. Why? Because we needed a ground type. And it also learns a good move variety, such as Avalanche, and it also learns Toxic Spike. I can use Iron Tail. Or an attack is probably not going to get used a lot. Um, just real quick, I'm gonna look inside and see what I caught. Go ahead and go on the PC. Oh yeah, I had caught a Tauros. That's what I was thinking of. So yeah, I had caught like a few different Pokemon I was trying to see if I was feeling. I was gonna get Eevee to evolve, but it just wouldn't evolve because I don't have a high enough friendship and I don't want to use any, any of the uh, other ones. I was gonna use one of the two, uh... Friendship Evolutions. Shuckle, I just gave up on because it doesn't have Contrary and I don't have Leftovers. So it's not like, and it doesn't have uh, Sturdy as Glutton, which makes it even worse. Um, I was going to use, I was, I was considering Nidorina uh, Need and turn it into a Needle Queen, but I don't have a Moonstone. Well, Moonstone I did end up using, I ended up using on Needle King, so I was like, whatever. Deal, dude, I can't trade. And uh, other than that, from a chip. So now, in this episode, we're actually going to get our next party member. But we also... Wait. Yeah, I need to go get a Centra. But we're also going to be uh, completing the Dragon. The uh, little challenge that Blair put us on pretty much. And before we do anything else, I actually do want to move an item. I'm actually going to move you to Amber. What does Eevee have? Suit belt? I'm going to leave it on. Actually, I'm just going to put it in the bag. And then Oddish has. Miracle Seed. Uh, I'm never going to use that. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of things. Now, the, the one of the reasons I caught Needle King is because I really want to use Needle King. I uh, was actually thinking about using one early on, but I didn't know where to catch it. Alright, so Gyarados does have a suit. I forgot you could actually catch like magic carp and stuff in here. Now the reason why I have Needle King leading is because of Avalanche. And Toxic Spikes. So if we run into any like tough trainers, we can try and poison them. Go ahead and pop a repel. Oh yeah, I gotta do you dirty just because you named Kobe. I gotta do it for Kobe. Go ahead and get that avalanche rolling. Ooh, that might actually kill. Nope, we resilient. We resilient. And, well, I never got to show it off before, I don't think. Actually, yeah, I did with Gyarados. Um, Avalanche is actually a pretty good move to have right now. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit the water again. And we need to go on the other side of this whirlpool, so... If I'm not mistaken... Yep, Centric and Learn Whirlpool. Alright, go ahead and give her the Foresight. 
I am planning on getting rid of strength on Alpha, so I can teach you something better. Even though strength actually isn't a bad move, it's just a normal type move, which is my biggest problem with it. So if you try to go into a whirlpool normally, it just does this. I think in the old games it would just turn you around. And we have reached the, uh, I'm gonna call it the Dragon Sanctuary. We talk to this guy. Remember, she's complaining about Claire, and you have to answer a few questions. Now, I'm actually gonna use the guide for this because it's a, it's a very specific way you wanna answer this. Just give me one second. But uh, you really want to get this right now because it's actually a, a really good Pokemon. Alright, so I know the first one was friend. What helps you win battles? This one you want to want. You want to put. Okay, so you can put pretty much any of them but cheating. So I'm gonna put strategy. This one you won't put anyone. This one you can put either love or knowledge. I'm gonna put knowledge. This is closer to my thing. This one you wanna put both. Here comes Claire, which is weird because you can actually see her back spark. And we finally got our badge from Claire. I think you have to leave and come back. Oh, I forgot he's here. Nah, I'm not gonna take a picture. I'm gonna talk. Remember, she takes a picture. If you ever play Earthbound, it's sort of like that. Alright, so you can actually get a Dratini from him. I think I might have messed it up. To disregard what I said earlier, but I'm pretty sure I actually messed it up. This is a TM for her jump, by the way, because she forgot to do it on the way out. It's Dragon Pulse. Pretty good move.
I said dragon I meant to say Dratini if I didn't. Professor Elm. Alright, I'm just going to use... Well, nah, I'm, a, I'm not going to pull out that. I want to just show off this last route. You can actually catch Skarmory here. It's a really good defensive Pokemon. I also learned Spikes. Um, this is actually where I went to go train earlier. When I pull off camera. And it also connects you back to Dark Cave. If you go to the, uh, to the left here. Boom. So it's like a little... Cave that, you know, you can just like cut back through that way if you don't have a Pokemon fly. Catching a Pokemon to replace Dratini, though. It's just, it's just gonna be a little bit later. Alright, let's go ahead and use Extra Sensory again. This whole area is just like one giant hill. It actually connects to an earlier path that I actually went. Uh, yeah, I did go up. I went at the very end of there. Uh, this series. This is actually where you can catch Fampy. And uh, I'm actually avoiding the trainers on purpose. Cause I'm gonna go back and fight them off camera. If I run into any of them, it's just whatever. That's what, that's what that's how I actually train a lot. Of I'll go back to like the older routes pre match. Or I just battle the trainers. Or I'll battle a few of them. So that way I don't have to waste, you know, camera time doing it. Now let's go for Avalanche. That actually might do a good bit of damage. Oh. Alright, let's go ahead and do Horn Attack. Now you can actually get a lot of useful stuff from uh these phone numbers. The reason why I don't do them is because it's already bad enough we got our mother calling us 24 7. Actually, surprised she's not calling us right now. Oh, let's go ahead and put I'm actually, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna leave Gyarados in the lead to fight a lot of ground tapes and hikers. I have to kill Bro, I still wish they would show what data loot looks like at the bottom. So we can just stop like guessing. 
I just want like I'm just expecting like a little mold for like like claws. But if you look at it, like the footprint that they use for it, it's just like a little hug for like a claw at the end. A rolling diglet, yeah, a rolling diglet on rolling dub trio is still a weird to me, bro. It was like, it's just weird to see them with hair. And then the fact that they made them a steel type, like, how is that a steel type? It's, it's like the hair made of like metal. Like, does it have like metallic fibers or something? Mm. Hop down. It's over here. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. You can catch uh, NT and uh, Rifle right now. You've been, oh, I've been able to do it for a while. I just haven't run into them. I wanted to kind of be like random. All right, so it's the same world. It's just a different path. And then Dark Cave again. I think it's an item up there, but I don't have the HM to get to it. I've been uh, the reason why I, well, one I forgot to mention it, and two I kind of wanted to be surprised just to have them randomly show up, and then I'll try to catch them because they're like, they're what they call a roaming legendary. So like every time I change an area, they'll change an area. So like a way that people would try to like you know catch them would be just to run in and out of a town until it uh, you know appears somewhere where you can try to catch. Them. But they only appear in grass. They don't appear. They don't show up on like water or anything. And they'll show up on pretty much any route. That's like uh, you know where there's grass. Not every route, but like on most of them. Like Johto. I hate these kind of trainers where it's just a bunch of low level Pokemon. Because, like, you're not getting a lot of experience from them, especially at this point. And it's not like you're, uh, really gonna need it. Because, look at that, I'm only getting like 100. That barely, like, bulk. That barely bumped up my, my stuff. Gyarados! I like I like Gyarados. I just didn't like this Mega. This Mega just looked disappointing to me. Like they could have made this Mega look more like a, a dragon. Like they didn't even need to make it a dragon type. They just could have made it more of a dragon. And here we are. Route 29. Go ahead and use cut. And if you couldn't tell, we're pretty much back home. First things first. Go we'll see your mom. Look how much money I got. That's not even anywhere near as much money as you can get, but that's still a lot. Now from here on out, I'm actually going to actually add the long one. Here on out, I'm actually gonna do this and then
I'm just gonna let it. Okay, so you do have to put like the exact amount in. Alright. And she'll stop calling you too. There's no money. Hey, sweet babe. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't actually sleep in this bed. I'm thinking of a different game. If you want to heal here, you actually got to go to the professors. And we see Lara again for the first time in forever. And we got the Master Ball. It's a 100% catch Pokeball. Um, I'm probably not going to use it. So yeah, what we want to do, I'm going to heal here. Because we're getting ready to go into what I consider to be one of the hardest parts of the game. She still can call you with no money. I did not know that she would still call you with no money. I've never had that happen. Unless I missed something. See, you want to go back to Equity City? And while I'm here, I'm going to stock up because, like I said, we're getting ready to go into what I consider to be one of the hardest parts of the game. Um, I think that the newer games where you could just go into the Pokemon Center and get stuff. Let's see what he has. A moonstone. I was literally looking for one before and couldn't find it. Hyper potion. All right, all right. Some more berries. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, buy a 14. Actually, nah, I'm about four. Um, I'm gonna wait to buy these. We are gonna need some soon. Revives. Buy six. actually do need another escape world. Now, one thing I recommend buying for you to buy four. Because we're going to be dealing with statuses. Um, let's see what the top vendor has. <laughs> Gyarados' sales clip through the uh, counter. Airmail, Hill Ball. Alright. Let's go on and uh get into the dance theater. Ha <laughs> ha they folded them. See so, yeah, pretty much we're about to battle the kimono girls and they're really strong. And he gonna go cry in the car. I'm not actually touching the keyboard too. Well, I'm not touching my key. That's a that's an auto scroller, so we automatically talk to her. So she's the reason why we actually got Toga uh, Toga Tick. And I recommend saving before this, but I'm not.
Now, I knew that she. I knew one of them. Was, I knew it was going to be Espeon and Umbreon at first. That's why I said that was Gyarados. Um, I just want to use Dragon Race so I can get the guaranteed damage. Uh, trying to hit Umbreon with a regular move is not a smart idea, unless it's a fighting type move, or bug type move. And I don't have either one of them right now, alright, shouldn't do a lot. But the good news is Umbreon doesn't have that great a special attack, so it can use, it can use Dark Pulse over once. If you heal the uh, cow, moon milk is really helpful, but I ran out of berries. And I don't have, well, I didn't uh, actually go and farm more. God dang it. This is what I hate about confusion. I swear it's like way, way stronger in this game. Like, like I was you hit the uh, the odds of you getting hit, getting hit by your own confusion is higher than any other game, I swear it is. Now, I didn't know if she was going to heal or not. I couldn't remember if they did that. But the, uh, also, Umbreon had some uh, built-in healing moves. So this is one we met in the forest. She has Espeon, alright. As you can see, there's no brick in between them. There's no brick. Right now, my best bet will probably be trying to stick it up with Gyarados. I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Let's go ahead and try and use Ice Fang. And take advantage of that, uh. That chance of freezing. If I can get the freeze off, which I doubt, I'll be in the money. Alright, nope, that's not working up. Uh. Double tick. Alright, that was that was crazy. I was not expecting to get a crit or get credit right there. Um, and froze, I guess. Go ahead and go thunder wave. Oh yeah. Up thunder wave th discharge. Another crit. I knew that crit. I, I knew as soon as I saw how much damage he did, I knew it crit. Um, let's go ahead and send out Gyarados. I'm 
I'm actually going to take this chance to use a five and bring back Amphros because we're going to need Amphros to bring back. Then I'm going to send up Sentry. I was going to say, please have a quick attack. I would actually do that. I'm not even going to lie. Um, Gyarados. Really? The hardest two are the first two. First two are always the hardest two. What is that? Swift and smoke screen, that's right. Uh at 69. Let's go to San Amphro or something here. Pretty much you gotta play damage control and you gotta oops, wrong one. You pretty much gotta play damage control and keep up with your uh, health. That's a dumb idea. Cause you have no breaks. Like there is no breaks in this. Like I'm expecting to fail at least once. And I'm a higher level than all of them. And it's specific it's, it's literally because how strong their Pokemon is like look at that that was a crit like that's the third crit it's gotten this entire fight like you have Umbreon this this fight right here but I've got Espeon's cakewalk it, it can't really do a lot to you I'm gonna go ahead and use Discharge while I got the chance. Besides, you use Swift. That's the only thing you can really do. And Umbreon will just tank that. Alright, so that went bad. I'm not even gonna lie. This one. This one is the one that we helped here. I can't remember which one she has. I think this one is... I want to say... Jolteon? Nope, this one is Flareon. Alright, so this one is actually not going to be too bad. We can actually, uh... We can actually go ahead and bring out Needle King. I'm not worried about Willow Wish. The goal right now is just to get healed up. Like this is this fight is gonna be my uh you know my break. This is gonna be my break. This is like we have to have it. Middle King is a ground type, and it's pretty sturdy, even through Fire Blast. Don't prove me wrong while I'm saying that. See what I mean? Even through Burn. Alright, let's go ahead and heal one more. One more time, one more time. Go ahead and heal, uh... Go ahead and hit Unforce, because we gotta fight. We gotta fight Vaporeon in a minute. Last Resort. Ooh, that actually might do a good bit of damage. Alright, never mind. Let's go ahead and sing Gyarados soon. Now, they don't have the uh, Gen 4 or Sylveon, because Sylveon's not in this game. 
They have the original, well, they have the original trilogy, then the Johto, the uh, two from Johto. Right, let's go ahead and use Waterfall. I actually like Umbreon. I think Umbreon, Umbreon gets a bad rep because it just has like a bad move for Goro and it's slow. Like if it wasn't for the fact that Umbreon was slow, I mean, Jolteon was slow. Right. If it wasn't for the fact that Flareon was slow, and here I am talking about how much I like it. If it wasn't for the fact that it was just slow, I feel like more people would like it. This is the one. Alright, so she was from her listening in on us when we came to uh, talk to the old man as player and as player's uh, grandfather. Alright, this one. This one's gonna be our moment to counter. Go ahead and use Needle King. And it doesn't affect. Alright, let's go ahead and heal. Even if we don't have a ground type move, we're about to be at an advantage. I'm not even really that worried about double team. I don't have burn heal, but I got hit full heal. Alright, we've dealt with this before. We've had these issues. Got we've gotten through this. Horn attack. There we go. Horn attack. Let's talk. Let's let's get to, let's get it going. That's what I'm talking about. All right, can we get the last one? Last one. Last one. I think we're gonna miss this one, but I I like our odds right now. All right, we missed. This is really all it can do. I'm not even lying. Let's go! Alright, last one, last one. Signal Beam, where were you at? I should've... Hmm, Signal Beam is actually a... This is what I want to get rid of Strength for. It'll be fine. We can, I, I, I can go back and learn it later. I just need to get a hard skill. Alright, last one. This one was the one in Golden Rod Tunnel.
Zoom in for dramatic effect. It's like, nah. Alright, we got the clear bell. Which means we get to fight the little sister. It's like, nah. And they said they want us to meet uh, all of them at the uh, tower. See what Lyra's talking about. That's nothing, that's just like a random call. So, with that being said, we have finally collected all eight gym badges. We have bread on top of bread, on top of bread, on top of bread, and we finally beaten the notorious Kimono girls who are better, who are stronger than Whitney, and are harder than Whitney, but don't get as much love. Next time, we'll be heading on over to the bell tower. Go ahead and put my boy in the front. And we'll be sitting with that giant shadow of a Pokemon that the littlest one was talking about. See you on the next one. Peace.